Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on an overcast Thursday. It did in fact rain an awful lot. As you saw by my video, it was nice. 10 minutes later, I was sprinting to my door in, in a downpour and then the sun came out and then it really stormed and then the sun came out and it just did that until the sun went down and it rained on and off all night. Today, I don't think it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow though. And we're supposed to get some pretty intense storms tomorrow night, including hail, which always is just like, great. Like I need more damage on my freaking windshield. Anywho, I am off to meet an old friend for lunch. We haven't actually met up for quite a while. He's gonna snake out and we're gonna go meet for lunch and, and then I'm gonna be doing errands all day. I'm waiting for my new toy to arrive. It did not come this morning, so I figure it'll be here by the time I'm done with lunch and getting everything. So uh, yeah, let's go do that. Well, that was fun. It was really good to catch up with my buddy. I'm on my way home now. I picked up food for my wife. Although I'm not gonna make it back in time for her to have it for lunch. So I said I would just, you know, put it in the fridge and she can have it for dinner. I got confirmation of delivery of the new toy. And then I'm gonna go pick that up and see what I feel like doing after that. Uh, it, it, it's been back and forth, overcast and sunny, overcast and sunny. Although I don't think it's supposed to rain today. It did not call for it. That's not coming until tomorrow. So I don't know, I might go out and, and, and play a little bit. We'll see. But for now, homeward. Ugh, okay. I swear to Zeus, the freaking landscapers have been here all damn day. I left this morning going on 10, 10.30 to go drive to meet my friend for lunch. And they were here. I actually had a hard time pulling out of my driveway. They were here when I got back. I dropped the food off, could barely get out of my driveway. It's 10 after five and they're still freaking here. I just had to wait a half an hour for them to blow the driveways clean, giggity, before they were far enough away that I can actually kind of film. So if you hear all the leaf blowers and all the hedge trimmers and all that shit, sorry, but I can't wait any longer to film. Picked up the new toy today. I know I've been talking about it for a while and you're probably annoyed with me. Here it is. It is, and some of you will know right off the bat as soon as you see it, this is the Sony 90mm f2.8 G OSS macro lens. I had this lens before. It's one of those lenses that I kicked myself for. I should have never gotten rid of it. But that's okay. The past is the past. I got another copy. I got this from my friends at KEH. It was described as like new. It is absolutely like new. And I say this every time I buy a lens that's used because I won't buy a lens that isn't at least considered like new. It's like it was never put on the camera. I mean, there's absolutely no marks on this thing whatsoever. Now I haven't had time to really get out there and play with it. I mean, the perfect place to take that would be the botanical gardens. And then, you know, that's where I got my, my infamous ant picture that the ant was like big, smaller than my freaking pinky nail. And I also got the pollen that was inside like the stamen of a flower. And I was like, holy crap. So it is an amazing lens. I don't doubt that this version, this one that I have here, isn't gonna be an amazing lens. Let's back up. You already know that I bought the 35 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. And this one, again, I bought this from a deploying soldier. Good luck to him, Godspeed. And he said that it was in immaculate condition. And it is, it is an unbelievable. It was like, he never put it on the camera. <laughs> there is one thing that I caused, but all along here, see, see all that discoloration? That's not the lens. That is my Freewell UV filter. And why does it look like that, you say? It looks like that because dumb monkey couldn't get that filter off of one of the lenses that I sold. Could not get it off there. I didn't want to break the lens because I had already sold it. And I thought I'd rather ruin a filter than ruin this lens. Now I know you're gonna cringe, but I actually had to take a pair of pliers and grip the, the rim of the filter to try to get it to loosen up enough to start spinning it. In doing so, I scraped the crap out of the filter's edge and took off the paint and some of the metal but the filter itself is just fine. With the addition of these two lenses, I now have the 
most complete lens lineup that I've ever had, ever. Even back, well, you know I only had three lenses when I shot with Canon, but I had always aspired to have the Holy Trinity and maybe at one point to add a 35. And here I sit today, some 15 plus years later, with three full frame Sony cameras. I have my flagship, my big kahuna, my Sony a7R4, I have the Sony a7R3, and I'm filming on this a7 IV. All right, those all three are amazing cameras. Then, as far as my lenses go, I've got the 35 1.4 G Master, the 90 millimeter G, then I have the Holy Trinity. I have the 16 to 35 G Master, the 24 to 70 G Master, the 70 to 200 version 2 G Master, and then I have the 200 to 600 G. Woo! I am covered basically from 16 millimeters all the way up to 600. Those lenses will allow me to shoot pretty much anything I've ever already shot, I'm currently shooting, and that I could ever want to shoot. The point is, is that right now, as of today, May 5th, 2022, the Devious Monkey now has the ultimate unicorn fantasy lineup of photo and video gear. I couldn't ask for more. Well, I could, but I'd have to have a lot more money. <laughs> but all jokes aside, like I never ever thought that I would be able to have this type of gear, these type of cameras, these types of lenses, like these lenses are amazing. Everything about this stuff is absolutely amazing. At this point now, I pretty much have the miracle lineup for me. I, I, I couldn't possibly need anything more. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna go out and buy shit. Let's just be realistic about it. But I'm done, I'm done with cameras, I'm done with lenses. I have everything I've ever dreamed of having. It's a great feeling, it really is. And I've said that before in the past and then realized that I had some other shit that I needed to take care of. And that's when I got rid of all my Sigma stuff and I moved all over to, to basically Sony G Master lenses with the exception of this 90 millimeter macro because it's like probably considered one of the best macro, if not the best macro lenses out there in existence, and that 200 to 600. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to let you know that I got my 90 millimeter macro today, which came wicked fast, by the way, from KEH. They're awesome, just like MPB. And you know, last week I picked up this 35 in a private sale. That's it, that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.